Hey everyone. Let's see. All right. So we're going to do another technique here. Um, this is this is the technique that gives you this result. You see how it's uh, I don't know if you can see this, but where it's got these like nice, very soft edges, and it looks like it's just kind of going back and forth. Um, here's another one. I'll show you how to do this kind of effect, and also how to feather it out so that you can't um, where it's kind of just feathered and soft. Now, I do this a lot in my paintings, so you will see it in my paintings. Um, so let's try it. I'm going to use uh, Denim Blue by Tim Holtz. Uh, I don't know if you could see that. There you go. And let's try it. Let's see. Can you see my hand? Everything's in focus. Great. So I'm just going to do like a line here. And you can do a dot, you can do a line. I'm just gonna do a line so you can kind of see how I take it back and forth. Now, this is a small piece, so it's hard for me to control this with this gigantic blow dryer. But I haven't gotten a diffuser yet. So the idea is to not let the, the ink overlap. So you take it to an edge, and then you bring it back. And I'm doing this on a hot setting on my blow dryer. So try not to let it overlap. And right now we're doing circular, so if you want to space these out a little bit, you can do that. If you want to push them to one side and not the other, you could do that. It may be hard to see with the blue, but... Okay, so now let's do... We're going to do something else. So let's say I, I really like this right here. So I really like this area, right? Um, and I like this area too, but I'm going to soften this and blow this out so I can kind of show you. Hopefully you can see this, but okay. So I'm going to use the ink and push it out. Now denim does some weird stuff. It's got purple in it, so it'll... So now I'm gonna now I'm softening it. I'm trying to fade it out. See wherever the ink goes, if you pull it back, you can soften it. You can um, leave the residue like it leaves a line anywhere the alcohol was. If you overlap, it may push past that ridge. and then you're gonna have you can push it if you can push it too far, you're gonna have these fingers. And I'll show you that in a minute. So this is how you lighten it even more. So we're going to like, I'm going to split this through the center. And I'm going to try that, the soft effect that I was telling you about. And that's just, you know, pushing it where you want it. And then bringing it in a bag. Now you can do this with a little uh, Giotto lens cleaner as well. Here, I'll do that right now so you can kind of see. It's a little bit more difficult to get your lines, the perfect lines, because the point is kind of sharper. But if you want uneven, you 
Now these are all circular, obviously. Um, let's do this. Now if you want it to like brush off, let's, let's do that. So you gotta move it out. Now again, this is practice. I'm using plastic poster board. Um, this isn't meant to be a masterpiece. But again, this is helping me learn my craft, learn my art, learn how to control it. See, I'm letting it move where I want it to. And then if it's not going to go where I want it to, I push it back. I pull it back. So now I'm doing a line like... Um, more of a uh, linear. You may say, well, it's not soft enough on the edges. And I'll bring it in in a minute so you can kind of see what I mean. So you see this ridge right here, this line? So I'm pushing it towards the edge right here. And then I'm going to push it back, let it go a little bit, and then push it back, let it go a little bit, push it back. Same thing here, you see that line? Okay, so now if I want to soften this area up, push the ink out, away from it. And bring it in. It's a, it's you're basically playing with it. I mean, that's the best way I can describe it. So like if I want it to go over here in this edge, make it a little bit more multi-dimensional, where it looks like it's layered even more so. You can do that. And as I'm doing this, I'm thinning the ink down because, you know, I, I haven't added any ink. This is all just alcohol. And I'm moving it around and thinning it. So from a focal point to more of a wispy effect, like it's just kind of fading away and um, I'm diluting it. So you're going to start seeing it get lighter and lighter. Okay, so that's with that little Giotto. So let's do it with this now. Again, so I'm gonna add a little bit of alcohol here. Notice how I started on the outside and now I'm pushing it in. Oops, it came off the edge. There we go. So this is what happens if you go past the line, let me show you. So let's say I'm like pushing it, pushing it. I'm moving this ink around, right? I don't know if you can kind of see. If I push it too far, right here, you see how it does that? That's finger. See how it's becoming these like weird fingers? And now I've just ruined it. Not really, because this is practice, right? So let's do that again. So we're just gonna put some alcohol in the middle. And see, 
see I'm kind of like taking it to the edge. As soon as it gets to an edge where you see a hard line, you pull it back. Now, the way it looked was much better, but again, this is practice. I'm trying to show you. Um, hopefully you're learning from this as I go. And don't be afraid to mess it up. I mean, this is that, that's why we do what we do. Um, this is fun, actually, a lot of fun. So this is the effect that I'm referring to. I don't know if you can kind of see that, but you see how it's really soft here. Um, and this is like, it's not dry yet, but you see how it's drying? It's drying up. So that's the effect. You can kind of see that. And this stuff is really pretty. Denim does really cool. Um, this effect right here, you can kind of see, like, it's gorgeous. It's like, it's blue, and then it goes to this violet. And this is with 99% alcohol. I'm using the blow, dry blow dryer on hot. If I'm trying to get these effects here, this, this like, linear, like, line effect, um, you got to do it on hot because the alcohol has to evaporate. When you do it on cold, um, on a bigger piece, it's better to do it on cold. But on, on smaller pieces like this, you want to try it on hot first and then like work your way through it. All right? Ascari Art. I'm Kayvon Ascari. Um, please feel free to subscribe. If you haven't done so, leave a comment. Let me know how I'm doing. Um, I really appreciate the community. Thank you. Um, until next time. Take care.